Yo, what's going on guys? So look, today we're going to talk about the characters who are super easy to play and some of the characters that are also hardest to play. But we're going to categorize those hardest to play characters as you revving too, bro? For real? All right, look, so look, we're going to go ahead and talk about the key characters who are just easy to strongest. Let me know how you guys feel about this video. And thank you guys. We are on our way to 100K, so make sure you guys keep supporting the boy. Let's jump into it right now. We got the super easy, to, super easy to play. You know, super, super de duper easy, right? Super de duper easy. But you know, the character still has like a gimmick that it's not super easy, but it's like you gotta remember. You know what I mean? Leonardo, bro. Super easy to play. Easy to pick up. So easy that Juna could actually get a game off Omito. Soul is actually cool, but I'm gonna let you guys know, when you guys finally become the bad guy, when you, and when I mean become the bad guy, you guys finally master the art of Soul. I'm letting you guys know right now, it's gonna be so hard to win. The more, the more smarter you are with this player, the harder it is to win. It doesn't make sense, right? Venom is a good challenge. I wanna say, uh, one of the coolest characters, once you understand the challenge of this character and what you need to do, uh, the character ceiling is actually very high. Actually one of the coolest characters to watch, especially if they know how to really, really play Venom. It's one of the scariest. Dizzy is a hell of a good challenge. And I think one of the coolest challenges that you got with her is her mobility is one of the most like freeform abilities in this game. She has some of the craziest mobility, like ridiculous, like damn. You know what I'm saying? Like the fact you get air dash back, air dash forward, easy to play with a gimmick, very easy to play. He has very solid buttons. His, his move sets are actually, you know, very straightforward. You know, he has a, he has a slide that goes full, like not full screen, half screen. He has a, a slide that goes half screen. He has like a cool leap mechanic where he can kind of like hop. It's kind of like an extra additional hop that he could uh, use his air options around, which is really cool. The gimmick with him, in my opinion, is you have to resource your food management. And if you do not resource your food management well, you're actually gonna have a hard time. Hey, Yoon, uh, easy character with a gimmick. She actually is very interesting because her gimmick is the ball placement, right? So she can shoot a fireball, but when she shoots the fireball, she can actually control it. May is easy to play with a gimmick. And I think the gimmick is the dolphin, like the one where she summons the dolphin. And if you keep it like floating there, you can like hop on and like, you know, fly through. I think that's the gimmick that I feel that's gonna be really, really fun and challenging at the same time. But once you kind of understand how the the dolphins go and how you could like hold certain buttons and like, you know, drift through, uh, very easy character, you know? Uh, she is definitely gonna be like the most drive character, but you're gonna be able to see like more of her toolkit, especially in the air. And why like May in the air was like so good. You trying to rev too, bro? I think this is our first, you are trying to rev too, bro. Uh, all the setups that you have, uh, that's one thing about this game that I was gonna that I feel is gonna be the challenge for new players is uh, There's multiple wake-up timings in this game and uh, chip setup uh, varies it, depends on uh, The wake-up timing in the easy category, bro. I'm sorry grapplers. You guys are chilling Easy to play man, and you know it's the best part about it is too. your back dash is so ridiculous in this game I feel like every grappler player is about to be mashing backdash in this game. Jam is an easy character with a gimmick. Her gimmick is charging your cards. I feel like that's one of the biggest issues that a lot of people had when they were first playing her. It's like when you're playing, you're fighting, they forget to like get the card. So she has a mechanic that where she get the cards and it enhance her um and it her it enhance her special moves. Elfo is very easy to play with a gimmick. She has one gimmick and that is her shotgun stance. I think her shotgun stance and the sniper are two of the two things that are actually uh, pretty pretty hard to understand uh, in the beginning. I think the shotgun stance is the most hardest one in my opinion. Answer is you are trying to rev two up in here. Ah oh, man, this character is actually interesting because this character has a lot of like really, really tight frame combos. Even with his gimmick, he, he's still easy to play. Super easy to play. You don't. 
to be honest with you, you don't really need to use this gimmick to believe it or not. Because when you constantly hit your opponent, it just builds naturally. You know, I would put Axel in a good challenge. He is easy to pick up, and he does have like, you know, Sparrowhawk stance. He has a lot of cool stuff, but I still think like, I think some of his combos are actually hard to do. Ramathar, good challenge. Crazy, right? Crazy Strive round is like this. Rev 2 round is a good ass challenge. You know what's crazy, guys? Her her buttons are good, but not as good as they are in Strive. You'll see what I'm talking about when you play this character. I think she's a fun ass character in this game. Super easy to play. Kayo Lakayo. Super easy to play. Good cool character. I love I love Split CO in this game. I think Split CO is one of the coolest mechanics. Split CO. It's a it's a seal that it's placed in the on the screen. When you shoot a fireball through it, it's it becomes a lightning, basically. It becomes lightning. You trying to rev two with Milia? I think if you become a master of Milia, I think she is like a broken character. But her ceiling is very high. And she can make a mistake, she will lose. You know how Jackal was like one of the hardest characters in Strive? She's actually super easy to play. She is the most easiest character. She's one of the most easiest characters, crazy. Slayer is a good challenge, man. I think one of the hardest things to learn Slayer is like how to uh, cancel like out of all of his like dashes. I think him having that and uh, having limited mobility is actually very hard. Viking has a lot of cool freeform. I would say she, she has a very easy gimmick, but I feel like a lot of her stuff also it's a good, good challenge, I feel. Bad man is a good challenge, man. I think the Deja Vu stuff is actually hard to play. Hard to play with. I don't think he's, I think his mobility is kind of hard to use too. And uh, because of some of the nerfs, it made it a little bit more harder to use as well. Very confusing, very weird. But uh, I think he's, you know, pretty all right. Easy to play with a gimmick. I think the gimmick, understanding what items does what, because if you don't know which item is happening, those items can actually bite you in the ass. Like, I think like black hole can bite you in the ass sometimes. Once you understand and recognize the item, super easy to play, very easy to play. Zado, you are revelating. I think he is alone the hardest character. Hardest character to, to in, in the game, hardest character to win. Just very rough character all around, very hard. Very rewarding though. Trying to rev two but the flow chart is super easy to play. Once you master the you, once you master the rev two, the flow chart. Oh my god, let's get this flow chart. It's crazy, man. Johnny, you trying to rev two? But I'm gonna keep it honest with you guys. I think the hardest part about Johnny is to just frame treasure hunt. And I think after that, I don't think the character is hard anymore. Just frame treasure hunt is basically you do miss cancel and you cancel the dash with treasure hunt. You see that? And when you just frame, when you do the just frame treasure hunt, you get a juggle. You see the juggle right there? If you don't do that, it just randomly, it just regular, it just hits regular. Like you just get a knockdown. But if you do the just frame treasure hunt, you get a juggle and you get a combo like this. Like usually some games is just like, one hard character, two hard characters, things like that. You gotta think about it, guys. There's a variety of archetypes of all hard characters, variety of archetypes of cool, challenging characters, variety of archetypes for easy to play with gimmicks, and variety of super easy characters too. I think that's pretty good.